Okay, so our last mechanical step here is to insert the A split washer, lock washer. And then insert the nut onto the jack screw, X screw. Okay, and then secure all four corners. Now at this point, you have two options. You had the original option to uh, put your pots to adjust them from the top, which makes it real easy. But I do have an expansion board that this is designed to uh, work with. And that expansion board fits on top of this board. There will be holes drilled in that board. Um, so you will be able to get down inside and, and align uh, these three pots. But you may want to just say, well, it's easier just to port these holes straight out. So I suggest you do it by eye. Kind of find the plane where these three ride. Maybe draw it on the inside. Drill in. Find your vertical plane this way. Sight it, look at it. And then drill straight in. But take your board out after, while you're drilling. You do not want to hit one of those pots that will probably damage the board and the pot. So in this case I believe my next one will be um, from the top. The next board I create. So the next step is uh, wiring the board in. Choosing uh, some smooth paths to keep everything out of the way. And the uh, gates will go up underneath, kind of hang out underneath there. Remember the gates are the exact same length, brown and black, so do not cut them. They're made to reach anywhere underneath there. I'll wrap them, dress them up a bit, compress them underneath the board, and then bring them up to their uh, their home over here in the corner. And the current sense wires I'll probably tie together underneath there and then bring them up and dress them up so we only see just the little bits of their ends sticking up on the board. I keep things nice and clean. Power will do the same thing. Now that expansion board has power provided from these two headers here, this one and this one. So you get your 12 volts, your ground, uh, your current sense lines, um, your 10 volts, and your uh, current override line. Now that current override, override is to give you a second current limit. And so those all come up through those risers. Okay, so it's time to install the board. I've done a little prep work here. I uh, 
wrapped my uh, S plus and S minus just to keep it under control. I also wrapped my gates uh, to keep them under control. Uh, I haven't cut either one of those. I have uh, shortened up my orange wire, my positive 12 volts from the battery terminal and I've shortened up the ground. I've tucked them underneath though so that they kinda uh, look a little bit better. So I'm gonna attach my gates here and my S minus and S plus here and then I'm gonna push that board down inside there So my blue wire is my gate A, and that's uh, my first two FETs there on the, po on the positive terminal side. So gate A is attached, attach gate B. Now. Uh, a little tip in um, soldering wires, you should always tin wires before you try to solder them to the board. Um, and in this case I've got plenty of solder on the pad and I'm just going to merge the two together. If you don't, uh, if you don't pre-tin those wires um, they won't attach very well. Alright, so my one with the black wire, or black uh, mark on it is my negative and my S minus is the outer square here and my S plus is my inner square just like that so now I have all uh, six wires attached. I'm going to gently tuck these in. Tuck those in. Something like that. Nice and dressed up. I'm going to lift this board back out. Um, you can secure it in position as long as you can get to your pots. In my case, I, uh, I have the horizontal pots and I haven't drilled the holes. Because um, in this case, I think, I think I'm going to go with the vertical uh, adjustment on this case. So. I'm going to lift her back out and do all the work from up here and that'll give you a better shot from the camera. <laughs>